Hey guys, Emily from Food Box HQ here. Today we're talking about Snack Japan. Snack Japan is a monthly Japanese snack box that's shipped straight from Japan directly to your home. So let's see what's in our box. Alrighty. So inside we've got some bubble wrap there. Looks like we have a little postcard here. And then it looks like that all of our snacks this week are coming from Shiga. So there's all that info there of what we have. We're gonna just take a look. This here, the, I like this little guy, he looks cute. Not sure what that could be, but it feels like something sort of savory, maybe crunchy. This got something to do with pizza. Loving the Italian flag there. We've got some more crunchy snacks here. Texas corn. This one almost looks like Smarties candy, um, but it looks like it's a lemon flavor. Let's see what's in this bag. Looks like we've got some type of, oh, Ninja Star cookies. Looks like some type of chip here, maybe like a bread crunch. We've got almost like a potato stick in a way. This, <laughs> honestly, this kind of looks like medicine. Looks like some sort of candy. Looks like we've got little cow cookies here. Excited to try those. Ooh, this looks like some sort of like sour rope. This looks like it might be some sort of chocolate thing. Looks like we've got some sort of rice crunch here. Looks like another one there. Ooh, and a third one. Not sure what that is. That almost looks like candy cigarettes. That's a throwback. We've got something that looks like a biscotti. We've got a little, looks like a, a bottle. Definitely lemon flavored. It's a mini bottle. Looks like this is a drink mix for a fresh soda. We've got some more candy in this little pop out thing. We've got some sort of strawberry candy. We've got a Kit Kat. I wonder what flavor that is, might just be classic. And then it looks like we also have a cool gift here. Oh, wow, look at that, we've got some fancy chopsticks. All right, so let's get organized and talk a little bit about how this works. So once you sign up, each month you'll receive a box that's focused on a different city within Japan. So they'll get authentic snacks from there. You'll get about 10 to 12 snacks, and then you'll also get one to two items. So as you saw, we got those beautiful chopsticks, really excited to try those. So we're gonna do a taste test of a couple of these just to give you an idea. So we pulled out a couple of different things that I'm excited to try. So let's start with this one. So as I said, you can see on the front here, it says Texas corn. Um, I'm gonna take a look in our little book here. It doesn't really tell me anything. It just says it's called Texas corn and there are a few allergens of mackerel, egg, wheat, soy, shrimp, apple, and chicken. So luckily I'm not allergic to any of those. Let's see how this goes. They're like little puffs. Mmm, it's, like it's like a cheese puff, but it's not cheesy. It's definitely savory. Oh God, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's definitely salty and savory and it just melts in your mouth the minute that you, you kind of touch it to your tongue. It just completely disintegrates. Wow, that's actually really good. We're gonna try this. I don't know what it is, but it feels like some sort of like rice crunch thing. So let's see what this says. I think it's um bio and uh, epimeo again. Apologies, but it doesn't, again, it doesn't tell me anything, just says the allergens are milk, soy, wheat, egg, shrimp, and chicken. We're safe. Ooh, it looks like it has a similar consistency, but it's in like a different shape. Here goes nothing. Hmm. It's like a giant Cheeto, but again, not super cheesy. I can definitely taste a little bit of that like fish, which I guess is where sort of that shrimp comes in. It's really interesting. It's almost like what you'd get if you mixed Doritos and Cheetos together. Really interesting. We have our Ninja Star cookies. So according to this, these are butter cookies, the allergens, egg, wheat, and milk. Let's take a look. Oh no, it broke. Well, so one side of it fell off, but as you can see, it's like a little Ninja Star, cute little shape. The butter cookie. It's like a classic tea cookie. It's nice, light, not overly sweet, not overpowering. That's actually really good. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna try these out. I'm really excited. They're really cute. I like these little guys on the front. Let's see what they're called. They're called Tobacco Dabutsu, and it apparently has allergens of wheat, milk, soy, pork, sesame, skip a jack, I don't know what that is, or tuna. So hopefully I'm not allergic to skip a jack. 
Let's see how it tastes. We've got a wolf. Oh, it's like a savory animal cracker. I like that they're all stamped with their names in English. It's a fur seal. <laughs> mm, pretty good. I'm gonna go finish this bag. I'll see you in a little bit for some final thoughts. All right, just a quick wrap up on Snack Japan. I think this is a really cool idea. I think it's a very unique take. I've never seen a snack box that kind of gives you something to keep. So I really like the idea of having sort of those authentic items coming from Japan as well. I will say there isn't a ton of explanation of what the different snacks are. So if you're not super familiar and you're really looking to understand what everything is before you try it, it might not be the right fit. But overall, you really are getting to experience someone's culture through their food, which I think is one of the best ways to do it. So if you're looking for a really unique take on a Japanese snack box, click the link below and check out Snack Japan.